expect to contribute to your team in a meaningful way, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's disappointing. You know, but our responsibility now is to deal with that reality and you know, give other guys opportunities to step forward and contribute and pick up the slack that it you know, provides. Chris, when were, when were you informed that the suspension was coming down? So last night, Marlon packed up his locker um, and started putting some of his things together. So after the game, Tito called Marlon just to check in what, what was going on. Uh, Marlon said he had some things going on and that he wanted to talk to Tito today. So he and Tito met this morning. Um, and then, you know, Marlon shared the news with Tito at that point. What transpired and how it transpired, and in this case, that's Marlon. I think our, our job is to deal with the reality, and, and that's for us what the impact it has on our team and our organization, which is Marlon's not going to be playing for us for the balance of the year. And so how do we, you know, how do we move forward without in three years at that point? Um, since he had positive tests, um, and he had been tested a lot of times during the time 2013, 14, and 15, we did considerable work and due diligence on him as a as a teammate and a professional, and ultimately felt that uh, you know, it was worth worth the risk. And I mean, to Marlon's credit, he actually came in and fit fit in very well on our team and got along well with the players, made a positive impact on the field and in the clubhouse. And obviously, that's an unfortunate. Uh, so that's why it was especially unfortunate to learn of uh, the suspension. In, in